Welcome back. In this episode, we are going to be looking at using the Technic Quarry to harvest materials. So here I have a, um, I hesitate to call it a basic setup, but I have a, a setup with a quarry. And we'll focus on the quarry mostly, and we'll just briefly touch on the stuff in the back. So to start off with, the quarry... Uh, and I'm going to use a secondary core here that won't run. Places. And the direction you're looking in is the direction it'll mine to. And there's a there's an easy giveaway. It's the side with the Meese pickaxe. So that is the side of the quarry that the mine will be placed on. And when we right click on the quarry, we have a disable, a restart, and a radius option. Now, of course, this one is not connected to any power. So it won't do anything. So when we enable it, we'll just get a message here saying there's no network. And it'll go back to disabled by itself. We should be able to see that happen here, I think. Maybe not. And uh, restart obviously won't do anything because, again, there's no network. Um, but let's touch on the radius. So if you do a radius of 1, and of course, again, this won't do anything because it's not running right now. But a radius of 1 means you count one space away from the from the quarry, and then that is what it'll mine one radius around. So it'll take a box a three by three and mine that out. If we go up to a radius of four, which is the default, that'll be four spaces out. So it'll be on the fifth node away. One, two, three, four, five. This will be our center point. And then four nodes out right there, that would be a side. And then here, one, two, three, four out to here. So it'll be mining a, what is this, 9x9 nine nine space. I'm not sure how high it can go for sure, but um, here I have a basic little demo set up. So let's GUI it. I don't actually know how it works with water, so uh, we'll chuck a thing of water there. We'll throw a battery here. Why do I have this weird stuff in my inventory, you ask? Because I was messing around getting everything set up. Whoops. Yeah, we don't care about any of that. So this is just to demo that the quarry doesn't really care what it's harvesting. Can I place? I can't. All right. All right. You know what I don't have, though? I don't have any wood. Let me get some wood real quick. Wow. Yes. Let's let's spell wood correctly as well. All right. Yeah. Just give me 99 of them. Sure. Sure, man. Sure. All right. So we've got a little bit of everything here. We've got some liquid. We've got some stone. We've got all we've got all the things, okay? So let's right click on here and let's go ahead and enable it. And we'll see the quarry is active. And if we look out here, we will see items are starting to disappear. And this does start at the level the quarry is at. Uh looks like it does not harvest the water. Um, but you will notice everything else is being picked up just fine. Doesn't care if they're batteries, doesn't care if it's stone, doesn't care if it's wood. It'll just it'll just harvest anything. And uh, this is with the radius of four. So that is putting right about this space, I think, is the center. And it's doing a pretty much nine wide. We'll see it shortly as soon as we get another layer down. Oh, you know what? I forgot to restart. So this stuff's not going to get removed. Oops, that was my mistake. What in the world? Ouch. What in the world is going on here? I think I have broken the quarry. It's not supposed to do this. For the record, it is not supposed to do that. I do not know what has happened. Why am I doing that? Let's just restart it. All right, quarry's restarted should be starting over in this corner. Actually, no, I think it starts straight out. So that would be here-ish going around. There we are. Actually, it looks like it starts one level above the quarry itself. All right, so it's going around. There we go. It's cleaning up some more of the stuff coming across this way. Uh, we'll see once we actually get down to ground level the pattern it goes in. So here we go. It's going across, all right, and then it comes back, 
and then it'll go over this way and go out and zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. I don't, I do not know what happened there. I don't know why that, it shouldn't have done that. But okay, so it is, it is operating. You can see it has slots here that it puts the inventory into. It tells you how much lower they on the machine it's digging. So it's digging one meter below. And it just pushes everything out the top. So if you put a chest on top of the quarry, it'll put all of your items into that chest or all of the items that it harvests. And then of course you can pull them out of this chest with any mod that we've already covered that allows you to pull, pull inventory out of chests. Now, of course, if you're playing on a server with Technic, there's a very good chance that Pipeworks is enabled. In which case, you can put a pipe coming off. Now, I don't know if you can do it on the side. Nope. You can do power to the sides or the bottom. So what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to disable this um, and then wait for a few moments for the, everything in here to get flushed into the chest's inventory because we can't dig the chest when there's items in it. All right. And now we can go open this chest up, pull everything out of here because we don't really want everything sitting in a chest on top of it. Then we can break the chest. Then we can put a teleport tube on here. And of course you could do any other tube as well. It doesn't have to be a teleport tube. And then we will re-enable it. And there we go. It's picking up the stone. It's coming back. We have items in here. I don't actually know how often it sends items out. So I don't know how long we have to wait to see anything teleport. But uh, I have the other chest set up over here, receiving on that same teleport tube. As of yet, it has nothing in it. That is Quarry with a capital Q. There we go. So some stuff's coming out. All right, it should be in the chest over here. So we now have, yes, a working system. And of course you can sort all of these items as well and process nodes as needed and whatnot. Um, let's actually try to make this radius bigger though. Let's go up to a radius of six. It just grabbed a sapling from something, but I'm not really sure what, cause I don't, Oh, was it from these leaves over here maybe? I don't know, but so now we're doing a radius of six. And um, you can actually take four quarries together and you can either have them mine in the, oh, actually, can you do that? You know, you might not be able to do that, but you can do four quarries on each side and do a larger area. And uh, yeah. I, I'm fairly certain you can do four quarries on the same hole and it'll just mine it out four times faster, but I'm not positive on that. So uh, so don't quote me on that. Hey, look, here we go. So this was at six, let's try 10. I don't know what our max, ooh, not 190, please. I don't know what our maximum radius is. Uh, is 10 too large? Uh, maybe six is the maximum. Nope, seven worked. I did not want 78. Eight works. Digging three meters above a machine. Digging zero meters below machine. Machine, are you drunk? What are you doing? Let's try nine. Okay, so eight is the maximum radius we can do. Um, it is harvesting, so we'll come back to that in a second. Let's take a look at how to power a quarry. So the the best method is to use some arrayed solar high voltage generators. Um, I have nine of them here. I think you only have to have four because they generate 3,100 energy each and the quarry demands 10,000. So I have a supply well over what I need. If you are using solar panels, obviously they only work during the day. So you may find yourself needing to hook up a battery bank, such as this. So now if uh, we'll simulate nighttime by just breaking that. So now we have no power coming from the solar cells. We still have plenty of power in these batteries. Um, of course the batteries will not charge very rapidly 
if you only have, so if you use three cells, you're creating an extra 2,000, is it 2,000? Or four of them. If you have four of these, they create 31,000 each, 3,100 each. Four of them would create 1,240, nope, 3,100. So you'd have 12,400. It requires 10,000, so you'd have 2,400 charging your batteries during the day. Would it be enough to run it 24-7? I'm guessing not. Um, I could be mistaken, though. So, you can do something goofy like this. Um, and this is not a fully sustainable method in that it won't allow the quarry to run full-time either. Um, a whole bunch of low voltage generators, and you could use any low voltage generators or medium voltage generators. And I have a switching station here. You have to have a switching station per system. And then I have a supply converter. So I have available to me 6,480 low voltage, and I can convert that with 6,000 input. I don't think I can do 6,480. I believe it has to be Oh, actually, it lets me do 6,400. All right. And so when you convert down, you lose some power. I don't know if it's a percentage-wise or what. But you can see our output to medium voltage is 5,760. And then we can change this to 5,700. And this is our high voltage now coming out. And if I throw the cabling in here to complete the circuit, we will see that we have no network. That's neato. There is actually an, oh, there we go. Oh, still don't. There is a network on it though. So I'll just, uh, sometimes it's a little finicky and you gotta throw in extra switching stations. There we go. So we, edge drunk. We have 5,100 coming out, which is also not enough to power a quarry. But see, this is just goofy. So we still have a demand of 10,000, and we only have a supply of 5,000. So either you would have to build this taller or use different things. But if you use both of these in conjunction with each other, your high voltage would charge your battery bank, or your solar panels rather would charge your battery bank, et cetera, et cetera. And you could do goofy stuff like this. I mean, how you power it is really not the topic of this video, um, but it, it has to be powered. So do it whichever way you you want it really doesn't make too much of a difference uh though i will say doing something kind of jank like this uh is gonna tax the if you're playing on a server or if you're playing single player it's gonna be more cpu intensive doing that than doing this this is a little cheaper to build though because high voltage solar panels are kind of really expensive and these things are kind of really cheap uh, you know, so however you want to, whoever you want to roll, you can roll. But here you can see this is our maximum, evidently, quarry size we can make, which is whatever size this is. It was a radius of, radius of 8. So theoretically, this is a 9 by 9. No, 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 what am I saying? Theoretically, this is a 17 by 17. So to count it off, we'll just... Uh, Wow, just give ourselves a stack of 20 here and we will place them and then whatever we have left, we just, uh, you know, do the math because it's too much work to actually just count the nodes, I guess. There we go, so it's a 17 by 17. See, I do know how to math. And uh, yeah, this will keep running until it gets I believe 100 nodes below the quarry is how deep this will dig. Um, so yeah, let's just let's just hang out here while it digs uh, 100 nodes deep.
All right, so we'll cut this audio, cut the video, speed the video up so it's really fast, which is going to take a while, like a really long while. It doesn't actually have to be 100 nodes deep. It only needs to be as deep as we'll be able to see how deep it is. Um, though I suppose... It will have to be 100 nodes deep for the quarry to give us whatever message it'll give us. I'll also have maxed out the storage capacity of the chest, I think. Because that's an 8x4. If this is 17x17. 17 17, um, I don't know what 17 times 17 is. Let's pull out the calculator. All right, so 17 times 17, 289 times 100 is obviously 28,900. A chest can hold 32 stacks of 99, which is 3,100, and that was 28,900. So this is going to be a lot more than one chest. 3,168, 28,900 divided by 3,168 uh, is about nine and a half chests full. And that assumes that everything stacks perfectly to 99, which they won't. So essentially what I'm saying is that um, this won't work. There's going to be too many, too many items. The chest will overflow. I don't know where all the items will go. Uh, they'll, just, they'll break or something. All right, well, this is going to be fun. I think I can Alt-Tab out of here and not break anything. Please. Thank you. All right, so this is taking way too long, and I got tired of waiting. So, yeah, we're just going to change this, um, and I'll just throw uh, some text on the screen right here telling you what the maximum depth is that the quarry will dig to. And that is going to ramp this video up. So... Yeah, thanks for watching. Tune in next week for another fun automation explanation, and I will see you then.